Hey, good top of the morning to you, whosoever. This is Tony, whosoever, reporting live behind enemy lines, guys. Uh, today, I wanted to go over uh, some some of the t today's morning news. I hope you're you're uh, getting ready. I hope you're having a great day, guys. You know, we're getting closer and closer and closer uh, to the end times, guys. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're seeing the rise of Iran. We're seeing the, the, the border crisis take effect. We're seeing, the uh, again, the removal of, of, of city officials, county officials, you know, the, the labor force. There's a lot of layoffs coming, guys. There's a lot of dark money being given to Biden. Um, again, another thing we're seeing is uh, uh, the rise of anti-Semitism. We're seeing uh, the locusts of swarms uh, in the skies of Mexico. And the, uh, residents fear the end of the world. Uh, uh, I want to talk about the locusts. You know, guys, yesterday, I just wanted to share that yesterday, the wind was so bad, uh, I could hear voices. But it's probably just the wind hitting, you know, going through holes and, and making noises. But it's pretty scary sometimes, guys, uh, seeing... Uh, Everything that's happening behind the scenes, guys, uh, from the world heading into the end times to the to the the rise of uh, birth pains to the flooding in San Diego, the flooding in Monterey, the flooding in Watsonville, the uh, hur hurricane in in California. Uh, these are all, and then we're talking about the locusts in Mexico, guys. You know, on a cool Tuesday afternoon, the residents of Sanachi, a small town in southeastern Mexico, first heard of the hissing looking out their window, leaves the fruit trees in their back gardens, and then licked clean while they chewed on lemons, oranges, and havoc covered the grass. Not a single one of Sinoche's home, some 31,000 residents, had to look far for the corporate, or corporates. Rather, all they had to do was look up. According to the mirror, miles-long clouds of locusts had been blackening the skies above the sky of yucatan this week flying through shopping plazas smacking into windows and apartments and complexes and gobbling up anything green uh, the, in the local parks again guys some social medias and mexican press both asked the same question is this a sign of the world is coming to an end an exodus locusts were eighth in the ten plagues sent to carpet egypt one Orient outlet even quoted the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 3, which reads, And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpion of the earth have power. As it commanded them, that they should not hurt the grass, or the sea, or the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but those men which have not the seal of God on their foreheads. Except these locusts certainly have certainly hurt any of the any and every green thing in sight. Farmers have said that the blizzard of bugs has nubbed one of the cornfields in the middle of the harvest, though officials say that the swarm will unlikely lead to any major loss in the agricultural sector. Some farmers have tried to doze, doze crops with pesticides in a bed to kill the insects with not enough vegetation to go around. The far famished swarms have buzzed into the urban area to eat trees, bushes, and flowers. By nightfall, Sanochi's locals told the newspaper, Por esto, the locusts have left, had leapt away. Again, guys, they're putting poison on their, on their, uh, on their corn and stuff. That's not a good thing, guys. If it kills, if it kills the, the locusts, it might even kill you or at least get you sick. So again, guys, um, you know, everywhere you look, you know, uh, uh, they're signs of the times, guys. Uh, remember, the king of the north is moving. There's only four kings, guys. I keep, I'm going to say that to a broken record. There's only four kings. Learn this and you'll be smart. The four kings is this. The king of the north is Russia. will start moving. It's moving now. It's going to join forces with Turkey and Iran to come against Israel and, and join in Syria and Lebanon and Sudan and Ethiopia. These countries are going to come against Israel. And then the king of the south, Saudi Arabia, protested the UN, saying, have you come down for a spoil? And then there's the king of the west, which is the Antichrist, who I believe is Obama, uh, because of the numbers. Uh, he's going to come as a savior after the ten kings uh, go into effect. 
uh, again, guys, remember, I've marked, he's marked because the Holy Spirit would mark him. And, and let him who has wisdom calculate the number of the beast. Uh, remember, guys, I, I'm not going to stop. It's a, a broken record. Six times six is 216. 216 day of the year, August 4th, his birthday. He was a senator from 60606 zip code in Chicago on the 13th district. Jesus held, I, Jesus said, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Luke chapter 10, verse 18. Uh, he named him by name. The word lightning is Hebrew concordance 1300, which is the word Barak. And the word Bama is the word heaven, Hebrew concordance number 1116, which is the word Bama or high place. Uh, again, guys, uh, the beast of Revelation is already on the scene, the king of the west. Uh, the king of the east will be the Chinese gathering together to go into Megiddo. Uh, all these things are the beginning of sorrows, the cashless society, the beast system, locusts, earthquakes, famines. Meteors, one third of the ocean's vegetation is going to die. The animals are going to die. The green grass drought is happening. The, the earth is going to be scorched. You know, guys, these are all signs to share with you to sh show you that, you know, you're going to take a, you know, you're going to take a ride into what's coming, guys. All of us are going to be part of, you know, there's no way. And it came upon the whole world. We can't hide. We can't move. You know, the enemy is is moving behind the scenes and causing havoc and again guys uh, the locusts are coming the beast of revelation is coming the false prophet is here you know uh, again guys who i believe who i believe the beast of revelation will be again remember barack hussein obama's uh, has uh, 18 letters um, 18 letters three names three times what equals 18 three times six equals 18 another uh, another number uh, of the beast of revelation remember guys um all these things are just signs guys of what is coming you know you know th th these are the beginnings of sorrows guys I hope uh, you're having a great day, guys. You gotta get out. You gotta get out there, guys. You gotta do what you can uh, to, to win the lost. Uh, we're, we're literally heading into the end times, and it's, it would it would be a good thing, guys, uh, to have the Spirit of God living and dwelling in you. That you be born again. That you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Uh, there's enough resources. There's over like 300 or 200 videos here on how to get saved, how to be saved, how to receive the Lord. Uh, what the Lord desires for you and through you, you know. Uh, again, guys, Black History Month. Um, you know, so now, who do I believe? How how close are we uh, to the end times? You know, we're closer today. Than we were yesterday. This is who I believe is going to be the beast of revelation, guys. Take note. Um, people from other parts of the world, uh, you know, this is, I believe, the best of man. And he's going to lead the world, the smartest man. He's probably going to be, this is the best you're going to do. This is the best advice this guy is going to give you. But the problem is that he's going to enslave mankind to the, to the beast system, you know, a cashless society. This is who I believe the beast of revelation is going to be, guys. Uh, and again, guys, because of the numbers uh, that God shared and shows me and continues to show me, you know, don't be brave. You know, don't let people intimidate you. Don't don't let them call you crazy. I'm crazy for the Lord. I'm sorry. I've been born again and saved and I have the Holy Spirit of God. You know, and I see the end times coming. And my goal is to tell people, uh, again, guys, as we see the day approaching, that the signs are everywhere. Everywhere you look, guys, all around us, there's signs, you know, locusts. Hamas, uh, Russia, uh, uh, again, guys, uh, the guy, the, the 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 world in general is going is going haywire. You know what is the end game? You know there's wide wide floods in uh, in the Philippines. Uh, there's raging wildfires claimed more than 59 lives uh, in central Chile. Uh, 
Uh, San Francisco exceeds seasonal rain totals. Another atmospheric river and extremely dangerous winds approaching California for the next nine days. Pope Francis' rebellion grows as 90 Catholic figures sign scathing letter. Uh, Tehran warns Biden that if the U.S. strikes Iran's soil in retaliation for the death of three soldiers, the Islamist regime will hit back at American targets across the Middle East, sparking an all-out war uh, uh, between the foes. Uh, again, another thing we're seeing U.S. Britain strike targets in the Middle East. Uh, no verse from the Bible should be prohibited. Preacher to appeal conviction for holding sign with scripture passage. Uh, uh, remember, guys, it's going to be illegal to preach the word, but it's okay. Don't listen to them. You know, it was illegal to help a Jew in, in World War II. It was illegal uh, uh, to house a Jew, but it was the right thing to do. Uh, okay, guys, uh, uh, today in the news, we see, again, another U.S. strike, 85 targets in Iraq and Syria, European farmers protest. Uh, again, these are just the division, the fighting, the moving away. You know, uh, the whole point of these messages is that you be saved. The whole point of these messages is that you receive Jesus Christ. The whole point of these messages is that you realize that we're heading into the end times. The Lord has already uh, given us wisdom and signs. And, you know, uh, I believe these are just the beginnings of sorrows. Uh, it's only going to get worse. Uh, please like and subscribe, guys. I do sometimes half an hour. Uh, some of the pastors were saying that uh, uh, this generation uh, has, if you don't hold their attention for five seconds, they, they'll, 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 they'll swipe you. That's crazy, guys. Can you imagine how the Lord feels, all these people swiping his, his warnings, swiping his uh, 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 salvation, uh, his guidance? But you know what? The Holy Spirit can do above and beyond anything we ask and think, guys. So again, guys, may the Lord bless you. Be girded, be strengthened. I'm going to do a shorter one. Maybe maybe more people will listen. Maybe people will understand. And maybe I'll cut this down in little shorts. Uh, but again, guys, the, the times of the end of the Gentile age is coming. Uh, the wars and rumors of wars is raging. Uh, people need to be saved. Uh, the history. Uh, and don't be ignorant of Satan's schemes. And again, guys, uh, uh, K-Wave, when I first got saved... I used to listen to the pastor's perspective on K-Wave, and I, I learned a lot. You know, you learn a lot more from reading your Bible. But, you know, God has them there to preach the truth. You know, like and subscribe uh, to the pastor's perspective on K-Wave. Uh, do whatever you can to, to win the loss. And as the end times gain speed, guys, I hope you understand uh, there's, a, there's, there, there, there's a tribulation hour that's upon us. The birth pains are gaining speed. The people are, are, are need to receive Christ Jesus our Lord. Uh, and uh, everybody's going to give them that opportunity um, to take the mark of the beast or to receive the Lord uh, and be born again. And escape, escape what's coming by the rapture, guys. I don't know when the rapture happens, but I know it happens before the wrath of God. No one knows the day or the hour, so I don't know. But I know that the, 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 the beast of Revelation is here. The king of the north is moving. The king of the south is going to protest, and the kings of the east are going to gather up a hundred million man army, and the God is going to dry up the Euphrates River, and they're going to come across, and they're going to go into the Valley of Megiddo. Uh, if you don't believe in God and you don't believe God's word, what the hell are you doing going to the very place God said you would go? But you have no choice. I believe God's word uh, its so powerful that it moves societies. Uh, but also he's getting Satan, Satan, uh, is using his 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 uh, uh, fallen angels and his demons and the, the crickets and frogs uh, to tell the people of the world gather in Megiddo. Uh, yeah, you're gonna you're really gonna have a chance to stop God from coming back. Yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> Ain't gonna work out. I'm telling you right now. If you want to put some betting money on something, bet the money that uh, God is gonna win. Uh, so again, guys, may the Lord bless you. Be girded, be strengthened. The Lord is coming. It's coming quickly.